right, let's talk weather. And it's been hot all day, and it's still hot at 10:16. Yes, it is. I mean, way hotter than it should be at 10. <laughs> <laughs> mid 80s, heat index mid 90s. Yeah, it feels it's been like worse. It. It's been worse. It has. It has. But you know, I thought it would be good to review the day because we can lose sight of the fact that it was actually kind of pretty, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> going right. All right. So I want to show you this twit pic. It is just gorgeous. It, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. From Anthony Pollard. That's that's on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, makes you want to go out and go boating. And then here's Jerry saying, yep, he sees some rain. And then the clouds kind of contribute to that sunset. This is a beautiful one, and this is from Bayou Mama. Day is done. And then from Christina Brown in Mid-City, look at that beautiful sky. So thank you, everybody. Yes, we do have a heat advisory for tomorrow. I know you're sick of it, right? High temperatures, low to mid to the upper 90s, the heat index is going to be from 100 to 110 and it's really when it hits 108 that that heat advisory is posted. We hit that at noontime today so it's looking like it's going to be a rough day with high at the airport 95 but look as we go through Friday we're going to be in the mid 90s even Saturday. No cold fronts moving through anytime soon. High pressure in the Gulf and that's what's sending in all of the moisture and it's the humidity that makes it feel so uncomfortable comfortable. So I can take out that heat advisory and then you can see the clouds. We still have lingering clouds. Clouds at night prevent the temperatures from dropping as much. So as we look at the forecast model, seeing some clouds in the morning, really not seeing rain. Going into the noontime hour, a couple of showers, maybe an isolated storm will develop. So we can look at the big picture. There's the high in the Gulf. There's that moisture moving in. Isolated storms, mainly in the afternoon, but you can still have a strong storm, locally heavy rain, gusty winds, and lightning. So if you're boating, fishing, swimming, you need to keep an eye to the sky. Then here we are, we're going into your Thursday, again, an isolated storm, high temperatures, mid 90s, going into your Friday. Now, as you go farther out in time, it kind of uh, builds and makes the rain appear more than it actually is. But here's the deal. We are going to have this upper high still over our area every now and then it contracts a little bit, but the upper high kind of is that squeeze play. It compresses the air and causes us to heat up. So our high today was only 94 degrees, 91 the average, the record 97 degrees. And at the stroke of midnight, we'll find out if we did indeed have record high low temperatures because for the airport Baton Rouge, Gulfport and Audubon, it may be a record high low temperature say that fast. And then you can see our highs today generally low to the mid 90s. Temperatures right now low 80s. Oh look, Bogalusa just dropped to 79 to the mid 80s. Your morning lows upper 70s to the low 80s. High temperatures tomorrow right there in the mid 90s. It's just going to be hot. But I do have good news. No tropical weather is forecast in the tropical Atlantic for the next five days. Even though we do have warm water, nothing is happening. But real quickly, I do want to mention there is Hurricane Blas. I hope I said that right. It is a major hurricane. Max winds 125 miles per hour. So look at this. 9 o'clock upper 80s, heat index 101, 3 o'clock mid 90s, and you're going to have a heat index 105 to 110. Through Friday, really hot weather into the weekend. Better chance of rain Sunday. That's going to help bring the temperatures down a little bit.